everyone, this is Alfie. We're just going to show you the benefits of the command chin. So at the moment Alfie's doing a lovely chin on my knees. Good boy! I'm going to show you how to do chin but first of all we're going to show you why we want to teach chin. So in the veterinary examination we really need the dog if possible to stay still and also to be relaxed and happy. Now, part of being relaxed and happy is knowing who's in charge and of knowing what is expected of you and also having the ability to say, hang on a minute, I'm not comfortable with this. So if we're doing something with Alfie and he's a bit freaked out by that, instead of staying in the chin position, he will lift his head and say, hang on. And at that point, I know I need to go back one step and just reassure him by rewarding him with the step before so that he knows the next thing that I want him to do. So we'll see if we can demonstrate some of that to you now. Alfie, chin. Okay, so he's doing a lovely chin on the sofa. And so what we're going to do is we are going to maybe have a look in this ear quite closely. Oh, okay, that was a bit scary. Okay, so we need to go back a step. Chin. Good. Chin. Good. Good. So you'll notice I'm not using my clicker because I haven't got enough hands, so I'm just going for my uh, my reward word, which is good. Chin. Good. Chin. Good. So you see, a minute ago, when I tried looking closely in his ear, he was a bit worried and he leapt out of the way. By repeating it but stopping before he got worried and rewarding him, I've shown him that actually I'm not going to do anything bad and, and I just want to look in his ear so he understands what I want him to do. So other benefits of it are you can look at your dog all over. Come on this way. Chin. So we can run our hands all the way down his body and we can, for, this is quite often what dogs don't like, so um, I'm going to uh, maybe run my hand down his back leg. Good. You can see how he stayed in chin the whole time. Such a good boy, you are so clever. Okay, one thing dogs often hate is looking under their tail or their bottom, so we'll see what he thinks about that. Chin. So as I'm doing this, I'm just going to be looking at his head the whole time. And if he lifts his head, I know I've gone too far. So I'm just going to lift up the tail. Good. Good boy. So I hope that shows you that chin can be used to aid a successful examination and keep your dog happy. So now I'm going to show you how to do chin. Or maybe that should be another video. That should be a separate video in case this one goes wrong. So we're going to stop the camera now and make a second video.